Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Moon Prison Planner and welcome back for another plan with me um, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hello, um, thanks for tuning in, please subscribe. Um, today I'm gonna be planning something a little bit different. Um, as requested, I'm gonna be planning the notes section in the back of the Erin Condren. So um, I did show you guys a preview or, well not a preview, I showed you a page of what I did on um, one of the pages or whatever. <clears throat> Anyways, on my Instagram. And then I just asked, you know, if y'all would like to see me plan the rest of it because I still have a couple more I need to plan. So we're going to be planning um, and let me show you what I do with the notes in the back of my Erin Condren. First of all, I apologize for not filming, you know, everything. Maybe this is something I'll do next year uh, when I get another Erin Condren. But let me show you what I've already done off camera. Um, so hang on, I just need to cover my son's school stuff. Anyway, I was here and I was saying, let me show you guys what I've already filmed, or what I haven't filmed, sorry, what I've already planned. Um, so yeah, I've already done this, and then there's a couple in the back. Um, and I had a really hard time trying to figure out what was I gonna do with the notes section in the back of the Erin Condren. Um, because I would watch some Plan With Me videos about on it, and um, a lot of what works for them, you know, like what works for me won't work for you. It doesn't work for everybody, right? So a lot of what was working for them was just not working for me. Um, and that's because um, they were doing things in the back of their Erin Condren that I already do in my personal planner. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description down below. Um, I have like a flip through of how I use my personal planner, um, you know, and its functionality for me. And so I don't like to be repetitive in my Erin Condren because I feel like that's going to be kind of a waste, um, the, uh, you know, of space basically, because I'm already logging it somewhere, you know, so I don't really see the need for me to log it in here. So, um, you know, some people would put like, um, what have I seen before? Like their monthly cleaning list or something, you know, like so they can go back to the Erin Condren and look what's their monthly cleaning list or whatever. And yeah, that's something I have in my purse planner or, you know, like just pretty much everything I've seen in these Erin Condren notes plan with me was stuff that I just didn't need in the back of my Erin Condren. So it's hard for me to come up with something, but I thought I knew like I need to come up with something because I'm not just going to let these pages go to waste, you know, this, this is not a cheap planner and I want it to be useful for me. Um, so here's what I've come up with. Um, and again, I will film next year's, um, cause it may be the same. It might be a little different. I don't know, whatever. Um, but so far I like what I've done and I will film the entire thing next year, like a setting up my planner. Um, so that'll be fun anyway. So first, the first page, cause here on the other side is just like the last day of June or whatever. Um, so here on this page, um, I did actually find in a plan with me. So that's new cause I don't have my son's school information in my personal planner. Cause I don't really need to, I don't know. I don't really need, need to keep it around with me, but like if I'm at home where this planner stays, you know, and I'm sitting at my desk in my office and I just want to like, look at what's the school phone number really quick or something. And then I have that, you know? So I just thought that would be a nice little place to have some of his school information, like his student ID um, and like his time of his lunch and um, the teacher's email, school phone number, address, whatever. Um, so I've got that listed here. And then these washies, the cursive and the ruler and the numbers were from the Target dollar spot. But it was a couple of years ago, so I don't know if they still bring it around, you know, during the school season. But definitely, you know, it doesn't hurt to check. Maybe you'll get lucky and find it. Um, and then these are just like random other little stickers that I've placed, um, down, um, just from like freebies I've gotten, like little, you know, uh, shop freebies or like this is from the sticker genie because I ordered her like a little sheet of book stacks uh, for school. So I know what that is, but I don't even know where the rest of those are from. Maybe there's some that are from the back of the Erin Condren. No. Or, or the Mambi book actually. Yeah. The me and my big ideas. Uh, yeah, so, and then I just stuck a couple of red and like a little tiny blue flag here because it's kind of like primary colors, you know? Anyway, so this is the school info section. Um, and then next, here's what I've already shown on Instagram. I took a picture of this here and then asked if y'all would like to see me do a plan with me in my notes. Um, so this is the, the page and I decided this is gonna be my fall traditions um, section. So I just lettered that, you know, with my... <laughs> Fault, bad attempt at lettering <laughs> and um and just use a lot of deco from the man B sticker books and freebies and like leftover um fall spreads that you know fall kits 
Uh, for, so for example, these transparent ones um, and right here and then the gold pretty leaves are from Me and My Big Ideas and this big old one too. Um, and then these are from a freebie. I don't really remember what shop that was, sorry. Um, this is from Dash of Sun Designs and that's um, because she has nine full boxes in her kits and so I had a leftover. This was from a Sticker Genie um, freebie. It had like this full box and this, I think this font is from there too. Uh, that's Mambi. These are all Mambi. This is my actual little uh, bucket list tradition thing or whatever. And then uh, the corn, the little candy corn too, the pumpkin. Uh, these are from the Sticker Genie, same little freebie. Um, and oh, and then these gold foiled uh, dividers are from Rory Sweet Addictions. And then that little squiggle is from um, Rose Color Days in Collab with Nikki Plans. So these were surprisingly just already in uh, the Me and My Big Ideas sticker book. Let me show you. It was, I believe, the holiday book, I'm going to say. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think it was this one, the one that says holidays. So there's kind of like, um, I think there was like a fall section. Oh, yeah. See, look, here's the leaves. And then, yeah, there's just like certain words and stuff see so um yeah so these are definitely things that we like to do for you know every year so it's traditions for us i need to zoom you guys in a little and i'm sorry about the lighting um because of the um hurricane that's hit um i believe mexico i'm not quite sure i'm not sure if it's still a hurricane or whatever anyway but like i was trying to say because of the hurricane um the southern uh, southwest area of the United States, um, like Southern California, Nevada, and Arizona is getting a lot of rain, and so we have very cloudy skies, so apologies for that. Anyway, but yeah, uh, so these were from the Mambi sticker book, and um, yeah, like I said, these are definitely traditions that we actually do, so definitely pumpkin spice everything. I'm, I'm obsessed, you know, we love to get pumpkin pie. Actually, I do finally have my own little homemade recipe that I make every single year. I just started, I think, two years ago. Yeah, two years ago, and um, and it's delicious, and it's vegan, and I love it, and everybody loves it too. They can't even tell it's vegan. Um, and we go to the pumpkin patch. We like to do a little hay ride. I like to go camping in the fall. Um, excuse me, my voice. Yeah, I like to go camping in the fall. Um, you know, because of Las Vegas weather, it's very hot in the summertime, um, and um, in the fall, it's much much cooler. Obvious. I would much rather camp when it's cold <laughs> um you know not freezing not in the winter when there's like snow but definitely when it's cold because I love to just get cozy by the fire and you know drink some hot cocoa and bundle up and oh, so much nicer than like sweating like crazy um and then just you know cozy up and then train ride because they have these little train rides in the mall um and then baking of course um obviously love to bake um this is where we're gonna be, what we're gonna be planning and then here let me move these out of the way here yeah is where I've already, again, done my Christmas uh, stuff. So, um, these are all washies from Simply Gilded, except for this Marion Bright with the tree and the bike. That is from the Target Dollar Spot. Um, these are also Simply Gilded, except for that one. And then that one also is Target Dollar Spot that do not open until Christmas. Um, and I don't believe that these are all exclusive to Simply Gilded designs, because these are her older washies. Um, these were the first time I ever purchased from her. She was in like PVC or something like a long time ago, <laughs> like in 2016. I know, weird, right? Um, she definitely doesn't need to be in group sales like that anymore. But yeah, she sold a bunch of these cute Christmas washies and then I bought this green, I mean this red um, and gold bow. That was my first bow from her. And so were these Christmas washies. And again, they might not be exclusive because her old stuff is not exclusive to Simply Gilded, um, but her bows are now. Anyways, so um, this side we're gonna do Christmas movies, and I haven't filled this stuff, Christmas stuff in yet, because you know, like, I still have time. <laughs> it's, you know, barely October, so. I'm just gonna have a whole page for Christmas movies because I love, we have our traditional things, like we always watch The Polar Express, um, we watch Nightmare Before Christmas, we watch it for Halloween too. Um, we watch, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, um, a Christmas Carol, the animated one where Jim Carrey plays the voice of um, Scrooge. Oh, I love that one. It gives me the chills. It's just beautifully animated and the story and I love their whole like English way of speaking, like um, old English, you know what I mean? Like their accents and stuff too. Like um, I love American literature and English literature and just like old school kind of um, poetic type of speaking and stuff. Like, I don't know. You have to kind of be into it because I tried to watch that with like 
some friends and like an old like ex-boyfriend and stuff that aren't really big readers like I am and they're like this is so boring like I don't understand what they're saying because they kind of speak in a you know they talk about like doubloons and stuff like I don't know you know what I mean in life my spirit never walked beyond our counting house never roved beyond the narrow limits of a money changing hole <laughs> I can't explain what I'm talking about it's just kind of like an English lit type of talk but whatever um that's another one that we watch yeah so anyways so um but yeah whole sheet is dedicated to it because there's like i'm thinking the top is going to be where i put like our things every year but then on the bottom i also love to watch like the hallmark movies you know um and i say hallmark movies because it's not necessarily hallmark movies like um sometimes netflix you know does their own like produced uh type of hallmark movie um or like even the disney like made for tv movies that's the word yeah i love made for tv movies i don't like all of them because like i really don't like the ones that are um you know like some girl ends up being a princess or like you know like just too cheesy like i don't like those um so they could be okay it just depends uh but you know like everyone was big on a christmas prince last year and i was like yeah like is okay like I didn't hate it I just probably wouldn't watch it again I don't know whatever I'm sorry it was okay <laughs> but yeah I don't like the cheesy ones I kind of tend to like um the ones that more have like a moral of the story you know like the, the character learns some I mean well maybe that's why I thought the Christmas Prince is okay because she did kind of learn a moral but whatever yeah I like when the main focus is like they're learning a moral of the story like there's one that I don't I never remember what it's called but we always luckily find it I'm gonna write it down this year though so I don't forget and it's about this I saw this when I was a, like a teenager I want to say and in, again it's a made for tv and sorry it's gonna be kind of a rambly video but anyway um <laughs> and it's about her like repeating uh her day it's kind of like a groundhog day type of movie and i really really like that one i just don't remember what it's called it's called like 12 days of christmas or something basic like that i don't even know if i find out though i'll link it in the description or put a little tag here so you guys can see maybe you want to check it out anyway sorry that was long um moving along to this section is our christmas gift list so i'm just going to jot down you know um ideas that I want to go ahead and gift to family and my son and stuff. Um, and then we have here Christmas traditions. Um, this again is the sparkly glittery uh, Target dollar spot washi and then the bows are simply gilded and then the green and the reindeer are simply gilded. Um, I love this washi. It's kind of like the whole like blanket planner um, or like color pop or whatever like um, actual glitter you know like um the headers or whatever but uh but it's washy so i got a bunch of these when they were at the target dollar spot i hope they bring them back like here's some examples it's just um but it's like real glitter it's, but it doesn't fall out you know it's like oh so gorgeous so i have these and i have silver and i have blue and yeah i just have a bunch of these <laughs> they're stunning anyway so then this is my whole sheet here i just used like a gold sharpie pen and then a gray sharpie pen or sharpie not pen just a sharpie and um just some pens to kind of yeah um oh by the way yeah this is hand lettered by me but if you can tell i was trying really hard to make it look like this because i really like the way this was written so uh that is my interpretation you know um i like to think i've always been kind of good at like tracing something without actually tracing it you know what i mean like if i sit down and draw something and i keep looking back and forth at my paper and what i'm drawing i can kind of do a pretty good job uh, so I kind of think I don't know I think I did a good job and then this I just did by myself like that's my own little handwriting anyway and then this I just wrote Xmas traditions we have a lot of traditions we like to do we always like to you know drive around and see the lights and then um, um, you know watch Christmas movies which is gonna be its own page but like that's one of the traditions in general you know and um, um, oh we always like to go and see um, there's this oh there's this so we drive around the sea lights but then there's also this cactus garden it's the ethel m chocolates cactus garden here in vegas and it's free and all it's a huge cactus garden and they're all decorated with lights and you just walk around and it's so cozy i love it so much you just get you know some hot chocolate or coffee whatever you want whatever um and just bundle up because it's cold <laughs> it's cold anyway though but yeah you know you just cozy up and walk around and look at the lights and then you can get some chocolate because it's at the Lum chocolate factory i mean that's not free but uh you know it's just oh, i love it so i'm gonna list all of our little traditions here i know them off the top of my head but mm, sometimes it just helps me like if they're written here and then i'm planning my you know in december 
I can just flip back here and be like, okay, this is what we like to do every single year. Let me put it in my planner for this week. What can I do this week and this week and this week, you know? And this page I intentionally left blank because I think I'm gonna take, make this like an autograph page for Go Wild um, when it's gonna be 2019 here in Vegas. Um, and I'm not gonna decorate it because I'd rather just leave room for autographs. Hopefully I can get like Erin Condren's autograph and like, I don't know, planner girls and like, you know, um, I don't know, just people, cool stuff, right? I don't know, my first go wild, so we'll see. And then just after that is, you know, the coloring pages, and then the contacts page I actually turned into my cards to send page, um, because I'm not gonna use this for contacts, let's be honest, I put my contacts in my phone, so um, I really don't see, you know, me using this for actual name and addresses for people. Um, so, and again, I didn't want it to go to waste, so I thought, okay, cool, this is a good idea, because I don't obviously send cards to like everybody in my contact list. So I'm just going to put a list of here of the family and friends or whatever that I do want to send cards to. Because again, that's not everybody that I know in existence, you know, just just the list of people that I am going to send holiday cards to. So there is a quick, easy way for me to find their name and addresses or whatever. So let's go ahead and get started on this section. Now, I did already do this um, because when I was first planning, you know, back here, um, I did not know what I wanted to do with these note sections and I was kind of just decorating them, however. And I have this gorgeous marble 4.0 washi from Simply Gilded. I was gonna rip a little bit because it's been here for a while. Um, a couple months at least anyway so yeah I put this back here just a frame make it like a frame and make it look pretty and stuff but like I didn't have a plan for it I don't know I was just kind of bored <laughs> but anyway now that I know it's gonna be Halloween themed and this washi is not gonna do um, I don't really mind too much that it's kind of ripping up the paper it's fine because I'll just put more washi over it Eee, oh my god and it's funny because usually simply go to washi doesn't stick like too well you know but I mean if you let it sit for a while then yeah it is gonna stick down and rip your paper up so word word to the wise is that how it goes or is it word of the wise no it's word to the wise whatever word of caution uh don't let your simply gilded sit for weeks or months on end if you plan on lifting it up anyways also thought I'd mention these pretty notes are uh, from Fox and Cactus and I think it's called her like as you can see um, I think it's called her like um, ghost cat notepad or something um, this is also Fox and Cactus washi the beautiful beetle juice from the sandworms um, I just love how dainty they look too like can you see they look so happy and then in this one they look like they're like oh like so nice and proper um and then this washi is from michael's i got it 40 uh, percent off for their halloween stuff so it's this gorgeous like charcoal colored like slate gray uh with these gold skulls so it's super pretty anyway now behind this uh here's where i listed my halloween like see here's how i started right when i planned out what am i going to use these for Ooh. when i planned out what am i going to use these these notes for and i finally settled on what i settled on um, I just took these simply gilded sticky notes and just put this is Halloween traditions, this is Halloween movies. So then as I was pre-planning is when I put these down because these are what I've got so far. Now this might change, I might add more things or whatever, but this is just what I got so far. So um, these are the Halloween traditions and these are the Halloween movies. So let's also take these up. Luckily these don't stick very well, uh, you know, as well as the washi did. Okay, cool. So let's begin with um what was this again movies what the heck is oh i gotta get that off no movies are here traditions are the other side i guess it doesn't really matter right it could be either one whoopsie all right well let's begin on this side now like i said i um yeah, hold on i did say yeah this might be kind of a long video because i'm kind of rambly this is my first talk through that i've done in a while except for hauls, but whatever. Anyway, um, here's the washi you plan on using. This is all of the Halloween washi that I have. Um, this is the Fox and Cactus Beetlejuice, whoops, Beetlejuice washi. This is Simply Gilded with like the candy corn and the candy with silver. Uh, these are, I believe, my, maybe from Michael's, maybe from Walmart, I don't really know. This That's old, old washi, a couple years old. And then again, this is like the set of, um, washi I got for 40% off at Michael's. I love how it's vertical too. That's so cute. 
So this one's again just that slate gray with the gold. And then this isn't foiled, it's just like skeletons. So very cool. Let us begin. Yeah, like I was saying, this might be kind of a long video, but I don't anticipate this planning part is gonna be too long. Um just because it's mostly just gonna be me laying down washi. <laughs> and um any stickers. I mean I don't have too many stickers. I'll show you guys again in that, you know, me and my big ideas book, um, what I'm going to be using. And I will also show you guys, um, this is how you make a flag, by the way. I'm just sorry I did that kind of fast. Um, and then I will also show you guys, uh, oh, and I have probably some freebies I could use too. Like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um, yeah, freebies, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like when you get shop freebies. Um, and then some of them might be seasonal or whatever, yeah. So, you hear how quiet mine is? I feel like everybody else's Tombow is like, like, sorry, that was a weird noise. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like everyone else's Tombow is like very clicky. And I feel like mine's not very clicky. And whatever, my Tombow doesn't like me. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with... And honestly, like, I don't have a rhyme or rhythm to this. This isn't like planning a weekly, you know? This is just like, whoops, that does not look straight. This is just like, whatever I feel like, I like the way it looks. So, definitely encourage you to plan your month. I mean, your, your months. Yeah, plan your months. I definitely encourage you to plan uh, your notes section in the Erin Condren in the back here, if you like, because it's, um, I think, a very nice creative outlet. Um, cause you can just do whatever you want, you know? Anyways. Also, let me know if you guys want to watch me plan, um, the back of my, or not the back, what do I keep saying? Let me know if you guys want to see me plan, uh, the note section, the monthly, that's what I'm talking about, the monthly note section. Like, these for, oh, not this, like these for example. See, look, I have right here already a plan, summer bucket list for June. But yeah, see, the monthly note section. Right like this, just where the blank pages are. Let me know if you wanna see me do that because I do have a little thing that I do for that every month. Again, I just don't film it. I don't use a kit either, so let me know if you wanna see what I do. Okay, now let's see. Since this is gonna be the traditions, yeah, this is gonna be the traditions. Um, I was gonna put Beetlejuice washi, but since it's the traditions, let's just do some a spooky words up here. Definitely want to use. I mean, I still probably will use a Beetlejuice, but I feel like I don't. I need to do something special with the Beetlejuice, like on the side that's for movies, because we watch Beetlejuice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sorry. Oh, that was not straight. Oh my lord. Okay, sorry. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> it's stuck on here, and then this thing—it just—it loosens itself. It's so annoying. Stuck now? Okay. Anyway, that wasn't straight. Let me, hang on, let me get my ruler out of my week. Okay. I use that as like a bookmark. Like I know I have the um, paper clips, but I don't know, it's just kind of easier for me to pull from the bookmark, I guess. By the way, any stickers that I can list down below or the tools that I am using, like this slice tool or the exacto knife are linked down below for your purchasing enjoyment <laughs> in case you want to buy them did that not cut through all the way like this one did yeah that one did but this one wants to play too much i don't cut with the um exacto because i feel like it often always cuts through the paper because i have no chill but the um, slice tool, um, oh man, now the lines are showing. Ugh, hold on. Yeah, the slice, ugh, it's showing on that side too. Okay, you know what? Forget this. I just need to do another one. Um, with the slice tool, what am I trying to say? Yeah, with the slice tool though, um, I feel like, I don't know. I don't do that. It, I, I can though. If you push hard enough, it will cut through um, all the way because I have done it. Um, but I feel like once you've done it once, you kind of know how hard to push. And so you're like, oh, okay. Like, I don't need to push that hard, you know? Like, you just kind of realize how hard to push. And then 
you don't push that hard. But with the exacto knife, I don't know. Maybe the, I don't know what it is. Like the slice is just a little tiny blade, so it doesn't, I don't know. <laughs> As you guys can see, I don't know how, how to justify that, but that's just how I do it. Um, and this was free, so it's not like I had to buy it, so whatever. Okay, anyway, so, oh, let me get the, yeah, these out. And then this is also where I keep my holiday sticker storage. I don't have labels as you can see, but I keep stuff related to holidays in here. So like birthdays and so here's some half boxes from Sweet Kawaii. Um, oh, here's where that shop's from. The Study Holic for the fall one that I was talking about, sorry. Ooh, okay, cute. So totally use these. Oh my God, yes, Hocus Pocus. These are from Binks and Bones. I have a discount code for her shop in the description box, so definitely check there to save. Let's use these two. Why not? Birthdays and Easter and fall and fall, and I think that's it. And then I just have my favorite journaling cards back here, well, which is kind of random. So obviously the magic books. Oh, so obsessed. I've, I've been dying to get this one forever, and I finally did. It was free, actually. Well, not free, but, and this is just a bookmark that I love cool and then these are super cute yeah I was saying it wasn't free but I happened to get it in my order so that was luck anyway okay now where's the Halloween section hurry up I have to hurry okay cool see like here's some boxes I could use I'm just gonna tear them out for sure I could use these for sure I could use them in my like spreads too but I don't know I feel like I have enough Halloween kits you know I don't know. We'll see if I save anything for spreads. I probably won't. I think this is <clears throat> all of the Halloween stuff in here. The rest is like summary. Yeah. Also, I have another book I want to check. It's called like Everyday Memories. So I don't think there's any Halloween, but there is some holidays in here. So you never know. Uh, let's see. So there's like orangey stuff, but that's more Thanksgiving, October. I kind of want to use that, but I can use some of these pumpkins. I love that quote though, because for sure, October is one of my favorite months. I love that quote too. Christmas, winter, snowing. Yeah, see, they don't really see much Halloween specifically. So, cool. So that's what we're going to be using from the sticker books. Um, so hang on, let me get this all straightened up. Okay, so let's do, first is Halloween traditions. I really wanna use this quote. So, ah, so it's gonna go down here. Um, obviously Halloween is in October, so it makes sense. Anyway, okay, so. I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna write the traditions, <laughs> I can't talk. I think I'm gonna write the traditions in first. Um, and that way I have, I know I have room. You know what I mean? Because what if I like write them in and then I don't have room? So, uh, let's do, okay. Yeah, I don't wanna like write them in and then I don't have room. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, oh no, like I've got too much decoration going on and then I'm like, where do I write in my stuff? Okay. Plus I remember, I, plus remember <laughs> that I need to save some room um, because this isn't a complete like list yet. Like I haven't gone over everything, y'all. When I plan for the holidays, I go big y'all. I am not exaggerating. Like I will search everywhere. I am, it takes me so long and I haven't had the time yet, which I really need to do because obviously it's already October. But yeah, like I will, um, y'all, I will go through all the Facebook events. You know how, like, if you go there and they have cool stuff, like free things or just like things you can get tickets for. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> I say dude sometimes. Y'all, I will go through. <coughs> oh, I'm too excited. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I will go through the, all of the Facebook events. Um, I will go through Las Vegas family guide and, um, I will look through my my account my like previous uh, years planner calendar situation um, to see what we did. Like I will take so long just to make sure that if there's something Halloween going on, I know about it. You know what I mean? Um, Springs Preserve Haunted Harvest. Yeah. So 
yeah, I just take, it takes me a long time because that's a lot of places to check and it's for a whole month. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it just takes me a really long time, but it's so worth it because then I only have to do it once. And once I'm planning my week, I can go like, hmm, like here's my whole list of stuff we like to do every year. Like what can we afford this week? What can we do already this week that we haven't done last week? Or you know what I mean? And I don't gotta check every single week for these like dates and times and all that. Um, like say if I pick something though, I will double check to make sure the times haven't changed, make sure the dates haven't been canceled or whatever. So I will double check that. But like say once I have this whole fill thing filled out, I'll be like, oh, there's gonna be trunk or treating on this day or whatever. <clears throat> um, perfect, let me put that in my planner. But first, let me check, are they still doing it? You know, once this week has come. Um, yes, they are, cool, let me put it in my planner. I don't have to go and look for a bunch of things to do for that week, I already have it here. <clears throat> Sorry about the long explanation. So that is why I do what I do and why it takes me so long. <laughs> because, you know, this is, um, first of all, I love Halloween. Like, I have always loved Halloween. And it's not just because I'm a mom, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have always, always loved it so much. Um, it's just so fun and so special to me. And so um, I want to make it fun and special for my son, you know? Um, and even when he's older, which he is getting to the age now where pretty soon he probably is not going to be celebrating Halloween, um, you know, because he's already nine and that could just be in a few more years and then he's going to be like, I'm too old for Halloween, mom. So um, yeah, I really want to make it worth it, you know, before he's too old and he thinks Halloween is for kids. <laughs> um so yeah, I just really want to have fun with it. By the way, this is a Paper Me flare in, uh, y'all, my phone is dying in medium. Um, so I might have to shut this off and keep filming later. Um, yeah, so I just really want to make it special for him and as fun as possible. And I've always, like I said, I've always loved it, even, even when before I had kids. Like, I've just always loved it. And I want him to love it too. I mean, if he wants, you know, if he doesn't want to, then whatever. But... I don't want to ever say it was because I didn't make it fun enough for him. You know what I mean? <sighs> so, anyways, I'm just writing these dates in. And I just try to make it look cute and fun, if I can. Um, so we've got the Spring Preserve Haunted Harvest. And see, I just put the general dates that the entire thing is going on. Because, uh, again, you know, I don't know what week I'm going to go. I don't know if we're even going to go this year. I mean, hopefully we do. Um, but I don't don't know for sure. So, um, you know, if we can go, then great. If it's, um, then we'll go. Because obviously I want to go. I really, we went the first time last year. Oh, it was so fun. Oh, wow. That just went in the right spot, thankfully. Um, it was so fun. Really recommend that if you're in Vegas. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, so I just put the whole entire month, except it's only on weekends, so I had to notate that. Um, I just didn't want to put several, you know, this weekend, this weekend, this weekend, this week. I just put the whole date that it starts, doesn't start, you know, right away. So now I know. So that way, when I'm planning um, a week in October, I can go like, ooh, is this a good weekend to go? And we can maybe go. All right, so continuing on, we've got Halloween. How do you spell that? H-A-L-L, -L, and then this big old... O and then V E E N. And Halloween is a fairly new thing. I think they've only been doing it um maybe two or three years. And we haven't been to that yet. Because it's a little more expensive. Um uh, the fifth through the seventh, the twelfth through the fourteenth, and the nineteenth through the thirty first. Yeah, so they've only been doing this recently. We haven't gone yet. Um, but it looks very fun. Um, I've seen pictures on Facebook and it's at our, this place called Opportunity Village, which is like this, um, boy, I think I'm burping. I'm sorry. I don't know what opportunity, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a place where they, um, have, it's all a nonprofit volunteer and they do like, um, they help out like, um, children with disabilities, um, um. But yeah, they're, but, but see, that's the point of like why I've always really wanted to go. They also do Magical Forest, which is this Christmas event, which is like stunning. And I have been once and it's super fun.
and the money you <clears throat> um, that they charge for you to go is all you know because they're a nonprofit it all benefits the children so 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 awesome what they do at Opportunity Village um, so like I said that we haven't been yet because um, it is ex I mean it's not like crazy expensive it's I think tickets are like 26 or 30 dollars you know per person um, so it is kind of pricey um, but you know it's worth it, you know? Like it's a, it's an awesome event and um, like I said, it helps the children. So I love it, I totally support it and um, hopefully we can go. Um, I'm feeling Aww. like, okay, sorry, I apologize. I don't know exactly where we left off, but I had to just like cut this video um, because my phone was about to die and my memory got full and it's like two days later now, like no joke. Um, but I've got some sun coming through the window. It's been like super cloudy and rainy these past few days. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier in this video. Um, and it rained last night, but the sun is actually shining. So let me see. I'm hoping that I turn my light on too. Um, that I've got better lighting in this uh, video. So yay. Okay. Anyways. Um, so let's just get back to whatever we were doing. Okay. So, um, Okay, yeah, so I was just saying, I'm putting down things. Where's my note? I'm putting it down, yeah. So I'm just listing the dates of these things um, that we wanna do. And it's not necessarily like, um, um, oh, and the reason, <laughs> the reason I'm listing just the, all the dates, um, and you know, is because I don't know what day we'll be going. I think I explained that. But yeah, I don't know exactly what day we'll be able to go or if we can go. So this is just gonna be back here as a reference for me. And I'm gonna leave this, you know, bottom section here uh, blank because I don't know exactly, you know, like, I don't know exactly everything that's gonna be like going on or whatever because I haven't uh, scoured through the internet the internets um, to make sure I found everything fun we could do so yeah I will eventually do that uh, I'm thinking probably this week because after I do my homework I'll have more time after I do my homework and then um, you know film this and edit it and all that stuff I'll have more time so um, I can sit down and just scour the internet and look for more things to do you know to um, include in our little fun section here so I don't I don't have like a rhyme or reason for any of this um you know I'm not like doing something in particular I just found my little paper mate flares and thought I have this beautiful orange color that I rarely get to use and orange and green and uh, purple are nice Halloween colors so let me put some little pumpkins down because obviously this is for the pumpkin patch. So, um, let's get one of these guys and we'll just kind of layer him. Yeah. Whoops. Right there. I love going to this pumpkin patch. We go every year and let's do apples too. Cause they have, it's not just a pumpkin patch. They, they have a full blown, it's kind of like a farm, but like without the animals. So it's just like apple orchard, rows of, you know, zucchini and sweet potato and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, and I love that you're just able to pick your own pumpkin, you know? I'm also gonna put carved pumpkins, um, cause again, this is kind of like fall, I mean, Halloween tradition slash like Halloween bucket list type of thing. Um, yeah, so I just love their um, whole like pick your own pumpkin vibe. Um, let's put this, yeah, let's put this down here. Um, because before we went to the Gilcrease Orchard, I'm put by candy too. Before we went there, um, we used to just go to this, um, and I don't know if this is like common, maybe it's not common for y'all, because maybe you're like, well, of course you pick your pumpkin at the pumpkin patch, but Vegas is weird, right? I guess, <laughs> I think it's weird, but... Vegas is a little weird in that, um, um, like we don't have a lot of, you know, farmery or whatever, I guess you could say. 
and um, so before, so before, so what am I trying to say? So basically, <laughs> um, these little places will pop up, these little like pumpkin patch places, but they're not even really pumpkin patches. They're just like, it's like a big old lot of land, like an empty lot, you know? that um, kind of gets rotated around um, that, like it's pumpkin patches and Halloween and then they clear it out and then it becomes like a Christmas tree lot. Um, so they do that like every year in a couple of different places around town. And you know, and then they call it a pumpkin patch, but it's not really because it's just like they go in and get a bunch of pumpkins and kind of spread them all around with like hay, you know, hay, bar hay, barrel, hay bales. Yeah, I think that's the word. Um, and you know you can just pick up a pumpkin and buy it and of course they're like way overpriced um and then they also have a bunch of games and like it's like a mini carnival like fe festival thing and they've got like um those like car like um carnival ride type of things and like um a petting zoo and stuff like that you know so it's not like a real pumpkin patch it's more just like a overpriced festival <laughs> anyway so we used to go to that um, and then we discovered Gilcrease and I have been obsessed ever since because it's just so much more fun, right? You know, to like actually pick your pumpkin that's growing out of the ground. <laughs> um, and not just that, but they're definitely a better price. They're still not cheaper like than say like Walmart pumpkins, um, but they're definitely a better price. And um, these are cute faces. Hmm. I kind of want to put it back. Anyway, yeah, so they're definitely better priced than those little carnivals are. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's just better to walk around in nature and like just pick out a pumpkin that's growing from the ground. Like, I just love that. So we go to the orchard now. And plus they do sell these like apple cider donuts. And um, we like to bring our own coffee or hot chocolate or tea, whatever, um, and have a great time. So this is the completed look for the halloween bucket list or whatever like i said this little area i'm gonna leave open um because you know i need to go through the internet and find out other like events going on because i'm pretty sure there's another trunk or treat um but i don't know the exact day or dates um and yeah so we're just gonna go through the internet and do that at a later time um i don't have time in this video <laughs> And then I got those from the Mambi book because we also, you know, carve pumpkins and buy candy every year. We never pass out candy. I always trick or treat with my son. Um, but we still buy it because it's like delicious and good. <laughs> so anyways, um, so then, yeah, I can throw this away now because I've copied everything down. And let's move on to the other section. So this is the movies section and I've got my big old long list. I added Coco because I forgot about Coco since it just came out. And I love that movie, y'all. I've seen it twice. And both times that I have seen it, I've cried. And I imagine that probably if we, once we uh, see it, you know, for a third time this year, I'm probably going to cry again. It is such a good and heartwarming movie. So let's start with this Jack Skellington Fox and Cactus Washi because obsessed with The Nightmare Before Christmas. And we watch that every year as well. So let's put that at the top. I'm going to try to cover up all this damage I did from lifting up that Simply Gilded washi. Um, really quick, look at this too. My husband got this for me one year from Hot Topic. And this, it's a sticker, um, but I laminated it because I don't want to use it. I want to like just keep it forever and use it like a little die pot. Yeah, it's so cute. Anyways, I'll put it in the background since we're talking about movies. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, I'm like, can you even see it? There was a flag. Yes, I want to use a flag because I made a flag with the washi last time. But look at there's these freaking cute flags. Yeah, I'm going to use this little pumpkin face. But it is, see, as you can see, transparent. So, yeah, I'm probably going to want to white it out so the asterisk doesn't show. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get out the white. Oh, sorry, I put some stuff away because, um, like I said, it's been like two days. My whiteout doesn't click as often. Like, y'all, you know, everybody uses the Tombow whiteout. And see, look how silent it is. I don't know. But I like the clicks. So I don't know why mine doesn't click all the time. But whatever. It still works, so. Okay, let's put this here. Oh my gosh, this freaking flag is so cute. Obsessed. Okay. Like, literally obsessed with Halloween. Alrighty, so anyways, let's do our movies. I'm gonna add more, look at all this. Look, I think that my desk is dirty or something. I mean, obviously it's kind of dirty, but like, what is all this? 
do you guys see this hold on you can't even see it look at that look at all these marks like what the heck I don't know y'all <sighs> this happens all the time Ooh, Beetlejuice washi obviously because we watch Beetlejuice um yeah this like literally happens all the time um when I'm planning like and I it, it's like when I turn to the page like say if I'm like okay it's all clean but then I notice when I do this and I flip it around it I notice these more often so I'm like okay is it probably definitely something that's you know on the desk making it dirty then because what <laughs> it was just clean a second ago so anyways um yeah let's just do another no I kind of want to make it like a flag so here's another way you guys can make a flag if you have an exacto knife or I guess um maybe like a any kind of sharp blade will work I guess so there you go <laughs> just cut a flag um oh not a line is showing okay let's see if we can let it out because I don't want the line to show I didn't know the line was gonna show y'all I'm a mess okay eee. <gasps> oh Okay, cool. That's fine. That's good. Okay. And what are we going to do on this side? Do I want to do another flag? No, I just kind of want to. No, I don't want to cover that flag, though. Here, let's just do it. No. I want to do it straight down. Wait, y'all. Oh, I need my. I'm like, where is my ruler? Okay. Just flopping around. This is what you guys wanted to see, right? I mean, me just like struggling to be a human <laughs> yeah because that is what you wanted to see okay for real though plus I haven't taught I haven't done a um I feel like I haven't done a talk through video in like forever because y'all know if you are not new here that I used to talk through my plan with me's but I stopped because I kind of like to listen to music and just kind of um where's that other washi relax you know make it a Fun, fun experience and stuff but um so I feel like the only time yeah the only time I really plan well I mean the only time I really talk through the videos is like in hauls um so I haven't done a plan like a talk through in a while but it's okay it's okay okay we're gonna do this I'm just gonna I don't know y'all I'm gonna decapitate him right now oh well he's already dead <laughs> And should I make another flag? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, let's make it lower though. And anyways, yeah, so this part is just create create your own creative process. Um, because I know y'all came here to, you know, uh watch me plan in the back here. Cause I know a lot of you were saying, like, oh yeah, like I really need ideas, I don't know what to do in the back of mine. So um, that's also why I showed you the ones I already did was to give you ideas. So, um, you know, I've got the school info back there and I've got, um, um, and then just a bunch of holiday stuff, you know, Halloween and Christmas and then fall traditions. But see, I guess if you're somebody mm, a little more normal than I am, <laughs> you're not like super obsessed with the holidays like I am <laughs> um then you probably wouldn't use that in the back of your planner but you know you do you boo okay cool so like I said I want to definitely use my Sanderson sister whoops my Sanderson sisters um where should I put them should I just write hocus pocus and put them next to it that's a good idea okay um actually I want to use colors so let's do the orange the black um, the green and then I do have a purple pen. I have purple highlighters, but hang on. Let me see if I can find a purple pen. Okay, so I found three purple pens, but I don't know which one to use. Let me see. Okay, so there's this one. Oh, I kind of like that one. This one well, doesn't write very well, so no, not that one. Um, that one's got glitter too. No, it doesn't. This one has, oh yeah, this one has glitter. And then this one. Um, it looks a little more pinky to me, but it definitely has glitter, so that's cute. It's like the glitter jelly. Let's so see the glitter. But yeah, I definitely think the top one is the winner. So, uh, we're gonna use, sorry if I bonked you. We're gonna use those. Okay. 
Neat, neat, neat. Now, obviously, let's start with Hocus Pocus. What color do I want to use? Oh, I'm going to use purple. Uh, cause that's my favorite. Oh wait, I've got to write Halloween movies. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, let's do, I'm just going to write it in. How did I do this one on this side? Oh, <laughs> whoops. I forgot to even write on here what this was. Well, y'all, this is a process. So, what is this? L, L, O. I have to slow down and think about what I'm doing. There we go. How many movies? <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead and start with, like I said, Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. I need to focus. Doesn't everybody say that? Okay. Anyway, now I can get my Sanderson sisters. So there's Sarah. Where'd they go? Winifred. Did I say my Sarah sisters or did I say my Sanderson sisters? Because I don't know what I just said. And Mary. I have a freaking nail polish, y'all, that's called the Sanderson sisters. Oh, so obsessed. I will definitely be showing you guys <laughs> when I do my plan with me. I'm going to be like, y'all, look at my nail polish. Like, watch. Y'all stay tuned. And then I have these too, but I kind of actually want to put those maybe on the other side with the, um... Um, just like in general Halloween stuff, the Halloween traditions on the other side. Yes. Okay. So we're going to do that. I did purple. Okay. Let's do, I feel like Nightmare Before Christmas should be purple. Dang. So let's alternate then. Let's do Corpse Bride. Do I have, no, I don't. I'm like, do I have icons like that? No. Okay. So Corpse Bride. Coraline, so obsessed with Coraline. I really wish I had some Coraline stickers. Um, then we'll do Nightmare Before Christmas. No, I need to do a black one. Dang it. Let's do Herman Roman. I'm trying to think of all the like stop animation, Tim Burton kind of, you know. Paranorman, yes. I can't think off the top of my head, but is Paranorman um, Tim Burton? Because I don't know. Okay, then we can do. Oops, okay. And I'm gonna treat this as like, like a checklist, you know? Um, Cause when I get my Next year's Erin Condren, I'm gonna, you know, remake the back of the notes section. So it's not like I need to like preserve this so I can like transfer it over or something, like rip it out and transfer it over. So I'm just gonna check them off, you know? Okay, and then the Halloween Town series. Wait, is there any more? Hold on. Focus, focus, Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride, Coraline, Paranorman. Okay, and then let's do Halloween Town. I have not seen Halloween Town in forever. Like, I'm not joking. Um, yeah, it has been so long. Like, I think since middle school or high school, honestly. So, yeah, we definitely, this isn't a tradition for us to watch Halloween Town. Um, actually, is that two separate words? My bad if it is. Um, yeah, so it's not a tradition for us to watch that. But, like, I kind of want to start it as a tradition because, I don't know, I thought that they were fun and cute movies um and y'all I seriously might be thinking that's two different words Halloween Town but whatever anyways so there's that let's do hold on hmm. um don't use anything because I feel like I need some stickers hmm. whoops nope Let's do the black cat, since that's kind of a witchy thing, right? And this is like, the Halloween town is about the witches. I mean, so is um, Hocus Pocus with Binks and stuff, but I mean, I got the Sanderson sisters there, so let's just do that. <laughs> kind of in the way of Nightmare Before Christmas. Oops, maybe I should put them over here. Hold on, let me try to undo them. 
if you're new and you don't know what undo is, it's just this liquid that lets you undo your stickers without harming your planner or the stickers. And then you can reposition them. And then everything's all right. <laughs> so it's awesome. And I will have it linked, like I said, in the, dis in the description box down below in case you're want to you're curious and want to buy it um i have the affiliate link for amazon down below okay anyways let's do that where was i now <clears throat> oh the harry potter series so do i want to write each and every one i kind of do because then i can check them all off okay so hold on i gotta look those up because like I want to put them in order, and yes, I am a Harry Potter fan, but I mean, I just don't want to mess it up, you know? Like, I know there's Sorcerer's Stone, and then I'm kind of not 100% sure it was after Sorcerer's Stone. Is it Prisoner of Ask? No. Or is it? No. Okay, gotcha. So, what are we picking up with after black is purple, right? Yeah, okay. Um, it's going to be a long title. Should I write the whole thing? Yeah, let's wait. Why not? <laughs> All right. Be right back, y'all. Okay, I am back, and yes, there we go. That is the correct order of the Harry Potter series. By the way, I accidentally wrote Philosopher's Stone because I was copying it from Wikipedia, but a lot of her. Anyways, so now we're on, um, oh, hang on y'all. So I wrote down um, Hotel Transylvania, but I know there's multiple parts of that as well, and I just want to double check. I think there's only... Hotel Transylvania 1 and 2 and then I think there's like this new one that just came out but I don't know what it's called it's like we're on a cruise ship or whatever hold on <clears throat> oh is it just Hotel Transylvania 3 um yeah because we've seen it was funny we saw the first one no we saw the second one because it was on like Netflix or something and we're like oh let's watch this and we like didn't know it was the second one so we saw the second one um, and it, you know, it was cool. Like it didn't make, it didn't, it wasn't like, um, it was like out of order or anything. You know what I mean? Like for us, like, because we hadn't seen the first one, it was just like, oh, okay. So you would like know right away, like, oh, there's this guy and he's married to a vampire or like whatever, you know? So we didn't even, we just watched the second one, not even realizing that it was the second one. And, um, you know, they were like, oh, that's his kid you know, whatever. Like it just made sense. It was cool that, you know, you didn't need to see the first one. What the heck? Why is this so hard to find? Hotel Trends of Movies, not series. Anyways, um, yeah, it's just, oh, three is called Summer Vacation. Whatever. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we watched the second one, didn't realize that it was part two. <laughs> and then once we did, we were like, oh, well, let's watch the first one. Um, and we watched the first one, I think. I kind of don't remember, but we liked it. So we're fans, and we want to watch the third one, too, because we liked it. I can't sell Trends of Movies. L. I keep looking. No. Y. L. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Y'all, I can't spell that. Uh, okay, so there's Hotel Transylvania, and then there's Hotel Transylvania 2, and 
one, home stretch, and then three, summer vacation. I'm just gonna put one, two, and three, so. Oh, I wasn't supposed to break those in. Oh, y'all already gone and messed everything up. Okay, this is supposed to be purple. Let's see. I mean, you can still kind of tell it's black and right. Such a failure. Like, can I just ever do anything without messing something up? No, the answer is no. <laughs> oh well. Be right back when I trace over this. Do y'all hear this airplane? Okay, sorry. Anyways, I hope you all were screaming at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, where were we now? So orange and then green. Let's do Monsters, Inc. Oh, y'all. I'm not even, I'm just doing the list and then I'm going to go back to the, <laughs> um, to the stickers. Monsters, you. And then Monster House. What kind of R is that? And then a Beetlejuice. And Beetlejuice is for us. We, oh, and Coco. Real quick here. Yeah, let's do Coco and Orange shade. No. Um, yeah, and then Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is for us. We don't watch that with my son. Uh, until he's a little older. <laughs> okay, fantastico. So, we can throw this away now. And let's um, spruce it up, shall we? So um, I want to use this gigantic spider web. Yeah, for sure, because it is adorable. And there's a big old gap right here. Let's do, yes, like, like this. Right, I want to get as close to the edge as possible. There we go. <gasps> Super cute. Okay. Um. I don't really have anything else movie themed, so let's do the boo. I don't know. You know what else, guys? Do you, um, did you ever read um, those scary stories to tell in the dark? Those were so scary, like as a kid. Just FYI, in case you've never read those, um, look it up. Scary stories. First of all, the art is terrifying. Like, I swear, like the art, if anything, uh, scared me a lot. <laughs> like, um, this is my cat, y'all. Yeah, the art was like, oops, was a very scary. Um, and the stories themselves were pretty creepy too. But the art was just like, oh. I remember the art being like, ooh, this is scary. Um, a do, 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 do. Halloween party, no. Hmm. Is there anything else I want to put? I want to put some more Beetlejuice washi down here next to Beetlejuice. Where did it go? Here it is. And then, let's see. I want some Hocus Pocus washi. I bet you that exists too. Oh, geez. Okay, well, she's going to get cut off a little bit there, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I bet you there's Hocus Pocus washi, and I must acquire it. Okay. We're just going to trim that. Oops, wrong way. I'm holding this the wrong way. Okay. Sandworms. Okay. And let's just cut the other side. I should spruce these up with more like Christmas stickers too, because right now all I did to them was washy them. I didn't add any stickers at all. I don't know why. I just didn't think about it. But I won't do that in this video, just because I'm short on time. This video is probably already way too long. Okay, then we'll just add um, some ghosty. Should I add a ghosty? I want a ghosty over here. I'm here, little ghost. 
Oh, I found out in Spanish that the ghosts are called uh, fantasmas, las fantasmas. Cute. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, let me just see here if I could put some more stuff on here. Oh, I thought that would be cute, but it's black. Obviously, it's not going to show. Mm, no, it's not going to show this one. Either. There's nowhere to room because I wrote all those Harry Potters. And then I have these, but like, now I feel like I don't know where to put them. Oh, it's cute little munchkins. And then that's super adorable. I don't know, y'all. Eat. Oh, trick or treat. Oh, <gasps> that's adorable. Obviously, we go trick or treating every year, so. I like just now saw this sticker. Let's put it, um, ooh, right there. No, or maybe. What do you think? Oh my gosh, y'all. I don't know. I kind of want it there. Okay, <gasps> cute. So cute. Okay. Hmm. Well, there's definitely no room on here. This is like full as can be. So yeah, I mean, I want to I leave room, but I like want to add more stickers. Like I want to add this down here. And let's just do it. <laughs> let's just do it. It's like the perfect spot. I don't know. I feel like it's like, you know, a little room on this side, a little room on that side. It's so perfect. So cute. Okay. And then I really want to use this too, but I think I'll save it. Maybe I could use it in my spread somewhere. Anyways, I think that's about it, right? I want to use haunted house, even though we don't go to haunted houses. I haven't been to a haunted house in a long time. Y'all want to hear a funny story? If y'all are still watching, you deserve to hear a funny story. So my very first haunted house experience, I was probably about like 18 or maybe 17. Um, and I went with my then, you know, boyfriend <clears throat> and he is terrified of clowns. Um, and wouldn't you know it, there was clowns running around outside. It wasn't a clown theme haunted house. It was kind of like a mixed, there was just like a whole bunch of like different stuff going on in there, but there was like clowns on like really tall stilts, um, you know, just walking around and honking at people and just, you know, roasting people. Ooh, wait, I wanted that to face the other way. Um, and he's terrified of clowns. So, um, so it was our turn to go in. And this was, you know, a long time ago. So this wasn't like some intense, like, you have to sign a waiver and they're going to touch you kind of a thing. It was just like, you know, you just walk around inside the haunted house. And um, so it was our turn to go in. You know, we were like next in line. And... Um, I'm so distracted because I'm like putting things away. So it's our turn to go in. Yeah, we were next in line. And then, uh, oh, and we were going in a group. It was going to be me and him and then some other dude. And that's it. It was like the three of us. Um, and like, we're like, there's this wall. There's like, imagine that this is the wall, right? And you like, it moves so you can go in and then it like closes behind you. So you can't go out and nobody else can go in and stuff. So the wall opened for us to go and like me and the dude walked in and like as he was walking in, he was like, I can't do this. And he walked and like, not even walked, he ran out and then the door closed behind us. And it was me and this random stranger guy just alone in this haunted house, in my first ever haunted house, y'all. I was so pissed off. Um, and this guy was like, was that your boyfriend? And I'm like, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I was just like so irritated. Like, how could you just leave your girlfriend in a haunted? And he was older than me, y'all. I was like 17 or 18 and he was seven years older than me. So he was like 20 something or whatever. Um, so anyway, he just was like, oh, I can't do this. And he just walked out and I'm sorry. I mean, maybe he has like a legitimate phobia, like, and I understand if he does, then but um, it's just at the time I was just so pissed, you know? I mean, come on, this is my first haunted house ever and I'm terrified. I'm like, oh my God, like I don't even know what to expect. He's been in haunted houses before. I don't even know what to expect, y'all. This looks so creepy, the door's closing and then he just bails and I'm like, what? and then on top of that, what if this is strange? What if he wanted to do some real bad stuff to me? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I was not happy that he also left me with some complete stranger in this dark haunted house. Like I was just, so pissed off um anyway but I did continue dating him for a while after that I mean I was mad but I wasn't like I'm breaking up with you you know 
but whatever that happened to me in my very first haunted house and to be quite honest um i have not been to a haunted house since then <laughs> so literally it's been years yay oops i messed that up um i hope you all enjoyed that little story and i hope you all enjoyed this plan with me and um i hope it gave you some inspiration i mean honestly it's just as simple as like me using um, the notes for holiday stuff and my school's, my son's school stuff. So yeah. Um, and then context. I really like this idea though. I came up with this by myself. Um, because I was like, what the heck? I'm not going to keep my contacts back here. Like I don't even carry this planner around with me, but I was like, ooh, cards to send. It's a good idea. So I'm really excited about this and I'm really excited, to, really excited about, um, uh, this whole fall pumpkin patch, I mean, fall, fall tradition, um, you know, bucket list, uh, section here too. So, I mean, I hope that it gave you some inspiration. I know y'all were saying, yeah, like I would love to see you plan with me with the back cause I don't know what to do with mine. So if this isn't something you want to do, um, maybe this is something you prefer to do in the like monthly note section, then, I mean, I would probably... If I if, see if I didn't have a personal planner with already this like repetitive stuff that I have set up in it, like monthly chores or like my goals and stuff. Yeah, I would put that back here um, to reference it. But, you know, I use my personal planner is like for me, my like life planner, basically, <laughs> like don't come for me or quadrant. It's like my life planner for me. Um, and I'll link again that flip through down below um, in case you all want to see what I'm, my setup is and how I use my personal planner. Um but yeah, but this, the Erin Condren to me is more of a pre-planning and I do a little bit of gold setting in the front of the planner with the, like, you know, those 12 boxes. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's just like, you know, and then there's like some references back here and I chose to do, like I said, the holiday references because, um, I don't, I don't put holiday things in my life planner, <laughs> in my personal planner because, um, you know, the holidays come and go and then it's like, once the holidays are over, I don't want to like take these things out and throw them away, you know? So I like having it back here because it's all coil bound so I can keep it and, um, and it's not repetitive. So that's just what I do. Y'all, I just get a little creative with some stickers and some washi and different colored pens and, uh, different styles of, uh, handwriting and I just do what I do. So anyway, yeah please uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, and definitely a subscribe if you're not already and you'd like to see more from me <laughs> and um, if you stuck around this long hopefully you would like to see more from me um, I might try to incorporate these things but we'll see anyways and this is my little die cut here <laughs> next to nightmare before Christmas stuff anyways uh, yeah like I was saying <laughs> Please uh, give me a like, subscribe, uh, give me a comment too. Let me know what you use your note section for. Um, and so that way, you know, we can give everyone ideas and inspiration or just say hi or just let me know what you thought about my uh, plans, <laughs> my plan with me. And um, I hope to catch you guys in the next video. All right, take care, y'all. Bye.